Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound calcium dihydrogen phosphate. Now, here's the thing, right? With writing ionic compounds, you should always have two components. Now, in this case, if I just look at this wording, right, it says calcium dihydrogen phosphate. There's technically three words here, but remember, there's only going to be two components. So one of these is going to be, you know, uh, jumbled up with either a polyatomic, right, hint, hint, but let's see. I'm going to work from left to right. I see that I have calcium. I'm going to scan the periodic table for calcium, and I find it, right? Calcium is right here. Calcium is represented by a Ca, and it's in group two. All group two elements are alkaline earth metals, and they all have a charge of a plus two. So I have calcium, and it's a plus two. Now remember, I can only have one extra component, right, from ionic compound. So the dihydrogen phosphate has to be one whole thing. And I look at the ending, it's an ATE ending, and ATEs are always polyatomic ions. They are never on the periodic table. So you have to memorize them. But I wrote it down right here. And here's the polyatomic. Dihydrogen phosphate is h 2 PO4, right? Dihydrogen, di in chemistry means two. So you have to have two hydrogens. And then phosphate is PO4. So I'm just going to write that down. So dihydrogen phosphate is H2, PO4. And now we're ready to rock and roll. And dihydrogen phosphate has a negative one charge. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a cool trick where we crisscross the charges to just see the subscripts for the calcium and the dihydrogen phosphate. This plus two crisscrosses down, telling me that I need two of the dihydrogen phosphates, and this negative one crisscrosses down, telling me that I need one of the calcium. When you do this crisscross, don't worry about the charges anymore. They will kind of vanish, and you're just worrying about the subscripts at the bottom. So, let's see, I have calcium, CA. I only have one of them, so I don't have to write one. But now I have multiple of a polyatomic. In this case, I have two dihydrogen phosphates. When you have more than one of a polyatomic, you need to show parentheses. So I need to put parentheses around the whole polyatomic. So in this case, I'll put parentheses and I'll say H2PO4. Close parentheses, and now I put how many I have. I have two of the whole polyatomic, and I am good. So calcium dihydrogen phosphate is just CaH2PO42, and that's it. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. I hope you're doing well, and good luck on all your future tests and quizzes. I'm rooting for you guys. You guys rock, and I'll see you in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.